Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut. As always, your host Matt, home of the handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're taking a look at customizing Genesis themes, Genesis themes by Studio Press. Uh, since I've been in the page building mood, <laughs> I decided uh, to take a, a pause as from the Divi and the Beaver Builder videos. I, I do have a whole bunch in the works. There's more parts coming, part three of Divi, part two of Beaver Builder. Uh, but today I wanted to jump into showing you how to customize the look and feel uh, of, of a Genesis theme, maybe even using Beaver Builder uh, and some other plugins. So of course, where do you get Studio Press themes? Well, studiopress.com. They've got a whole bunch. They're probably the longest uh, running theme business out there. They got over 95 child themes. So we're going to take a look at one of them today. Uh, then we're going to take a look at Genesis Design Pro or Design Palette Pro, genesisdesignpro.com. And this is a plugin that's going to help you alter the look and feel of almost all of the Genesis child themes. Now, there are a few that have come out in the last uh, week or so, as, or two weeks or so of this recording. Um, what the team over at Design Palette Pro does is they have to go and build the support for that into their plugin. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Uh, so it might not have all of uh, the most recent themes inside of their support. And I think most notably is Pat Flynn's podcasting theme. They don't have support for that yet. I'm sure it's coming. And if you follow their blog, uh, you can get, more information on that. Uh, but again, it's not a free plugin. It only starts off at 49 bucks, which isn't a whole heck of a lot, and then 89 uh, and then 199 for deluxe. But once you see the, the power of it, you'll understand that it's gonna save you a whole bunch of time. And believe me, it'll t save you a whole bunch of time. I'm even gonna show you a plugin that you might use in its place, and then you'll even see why it's worth even the 50 bucks. Um, they have a free plugin in the repo. Uh, for editing the content in your, or editing the styles of your content, so pages or posts, um, you just add this little add-on here for free, and then you can tweak the look and feel of your content. Uh, we're going to look at Beaver Builder. I'm going to show you an example of putting in a layout uh, into a Genesis theme and show you why the constraints of that uh, of a, a standard Genesis child theme might not always fit for Beaver Builder, but we're going to show you how to do that. And we're going to do that through this plugin called Genesis Dam Buster. Eh, kind of a weird name. But it's, what this is going to do is allow a Studio Press theme or Genesis theme to be full width. And I'll, again, show you an example of that. Uh, this is a free plugin, and it's just like the, uh, the folks over at Design Palette Pro, they have to build in support uh, for those particular themes, but They've been doing a good job of it so far, at least as so far as I can tell, as of this recording, it was updated four days ago. It's got 19 five-star reviews. And then last but not least, there's another plugin from another page builder called Site Origin CSS. They build a plugin called uh, Site Origin Page Builder, which is the top page builder plugin on WordPress.org. This particular plugin allows you to style CSS, much like Design Palette Pro, but on a uh, hyper-specific uh, setting. All right, not that... Design Palette Pro isn't hyper specific, but this allows you to point and click and change the, the attributes uh, of any uh, piece of CSS in your site. Okay, so I'm using this theme. I believe it's called Digital Pro. I only really quickly set up <clears throat> this call to action area just to give you an example of something, but I've got a menu up there and, of course, the regular blog uh, role down below. A couple things to note here, and I'm going to show this as we move along. And you'll see when I click on sample page, you see how the page is sort of constrained in the middle. And that's just the design. It's the overall design of this, of this site. But the home page is full width. It is uh, edge to edge of your screen real estate. And when we, you go to use something like a Beaver Builder, what you find is you can only inject those styles into the content area. And that can be troublesome. And I'm going to show you how to solve that. But first... Let's take a look at Design Palette Pro. Again, if you've been following along with our Divi and our uh, Beaver Builder tutorials, you can you see that all of that stuff is baked into uh, their particular themes, their particular options. Uh, but what do you do specifically for Studio Press? Well, you can use something like Design Palette Pro. So the biggest difference of Design Palette Pro versus, let's say, a Divi or a Beaver Builder is those are complete themes that have all of the design drag and drop functions in it. You can change the fonts and colors of all the different areas of that theme. Uh, and those particular modules, more importantly, of the layouts that you're building, um, especially with Beaver Builder, uh, because Divi is a full-fledged theme. 
But Design Palette Pro works with um, all of these Genesis child themes and allowing you to come in in sort of a front end, back end-ish feel. So you can see here on the left-hand side, uh, we have all of these style options that we can play with. And then on the right-hand side, we can preview all of that stuff and we can actually shrink it down and, and do all the, like, the, the nice little mobile views so we can make sure that we're targeting uh, everything uh, as effectively as possible, right? But so for example, if I click on navigation, excuse me, I can change the, um, you can see I'm just clicking up and changing the font size. That's increasing and decreasing that. If I want to change, I don't know, let's say the background color of that, I could change it to, to blue. But you can see that there are just a ton of customization options. Almost all of the CSS attributes that you want to style for a theme, specifically a Genesis theme, you can do that here. Um, even if I go to header area, I think that you can move the site title around too. So if I were to add some um, general header padding there, I can move it left and right. And of course, you, what you want to do is make sure that that's going to look good on mobile when you start playing around with things like that um, or adjusting it specifically. So as you can see, Design Palette Pro just brings you into a whole new world of customizing uh, Studio Press themes. Now, there are some... Uh, interesting parts uh, for this build or for this designer, what I'll call a designer, is there are some widgets that you can customize depending on the theme and other areas that you can't. So like you can see here that if you had, um, excuse me, this one down here, if you had header widgets in here, you could actively uh, customize the look and feel of, of those widgets. But for widgets that are like in particular this call to action widget area, um, there are no, there are no specific styling settings um, for that. So if I wanted to go into, I don't know, let's say something like, um, I don't know, just like the sidebar setting, like I could go in here and change all of the widgets in the in the typical sidebar. This particular call to action area is a text widget that, when placed in a particular sidebar. It makes it look like this. So I guess the folks at uh, Design Palette Pro could build in support for that if they want, but that's a lot of different uh, areas that they have to be concerned with. Um, who knows? It might be something that they will support, at least for this particular theme, which is Digital Pro, um, something that they could work on in the future. But there's still a ton of customization options uh, in Design Palette Pro that will allow you to change, again, the fonts, the colors, the styles, even the padding, which generally affects the layout of a site. Now, if you wanted to, and I'm going to just jump over to this other plugin that, um, that I'm recommending here, is the Site Origin CSS plugin. So if we go to the custom CSS, I already have this installed. Again, that's this plugin right here, Site Origin CSS, uh, S-O hyphen CSS on WordPress.org. We can click into this little previewer. And much like we see in a traditional builder or even in Design Palette Pro, we have this little inspector tool and we can change and target uh, all of these areas that are being highlighted. Now, some, could say, some would say that you could use this plugin to customize everything that you can with Design Palette Pro. Sure, you can. But you have to do all the guesswork. Like you have to do all of the guesswork and make sure you get the CSS uh, exactly correct. And what do I mean by that? Well, first it's easy for something like this. So we say yay for some text, we click on that. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see all of the different CSS attributes uh, that sort of cascade down uh, the styles. And you would have to be absolutely uh, exact on which uh, style you're going to edit. So if we just click on uh, this one, for instance, so this is front page one, widget text, widget title. I can, uh, you know, I've, I've selected that, come over to the left-hand side, and let's say change the color, uh, I don't know, let's like this pink. So that's easy. Um, and we save it there, and now that call to action is pink. But not all of these call to actions are pink. So if you're changing a, a particular element that goes across all pages, you might only change one page, one attribute with this plugin, not realizing that you need to do it across all of them. And that's the true advantage of something like Design Palette Pro because they're building those options for those styles to work 100% across the theme and not have you doing this guesswork, right? So I think something like Design Palette Pro, you can come in and change all the fonts, 
and change all of the content attributes. But then when you need to fine tune something that Design Palette Pro doesn't have, well, you can either write the CSS yourself, sort of make those make that assumption, or use something like uh, Site Origin CSS where you click on it and you're just tweaking little things from here to there, like maybe uh, something like this call to action button. Even this like gets uh, pretty uh, interesting here. So you need to know which one you're, you're doing. Is it hover? Is it not hover? So let's just say it's the button because I believe that is the one. I am no CSS uh, expert. And then I can come and change that color uh, of that button to, let's say, blue, right? And then you'll see here that when you hover over it, um, you might need to go and change the hover color uh, if you want. So again, it, that very much becomes like designing or programming uh, a site to begin with. Um, Design Palette Pro will stop that guesswork and just say, this option will change this. It'll work 100%. Uh, no fussing around with, with CSS. And then when we do save this, we have this uh, CSS code that is generated, which again is not as pretty as maybe something um, like... Design Palette Pro does. I clicked on the wrong link. Just give that a second to load, which might not be as pretty as something like Design Palette Pro because then when you go back to change those settings, uh, maybe that font size or something, you're not going through a whole bunch of CSS, uh, lines of CSS uh, to, to edit, right? So again, you get a StudioPress theme, use Genesis Design Palette Pro to style the fonts, colors, backgrounds, and even uh, some of the paddings of the layout to a degree. And then maybe SO's hyphen CSS, uh, site origin CSS to a degree to target specific uh, CSS elements. Okay. Uh, last but not least in this sort of uh, ultimate Genesis <laughs> child theme uh, customizer video, what happens if we want to use Beaver Builder to create these uh, different layouts? Beaver Builder does an amazing job at allowing you to customize layouts and sort of do it in a drag and drop page builder fashion. So let's take a look at that. Um, we're gonna take a look at this one page called Beaver and actually already have uh, this page loaded up. Okay, so let's just preview this real quick. I did not mean to save that. Let's preview this uh, real quick. And you can see that uh, it might be a little bit harder to tell right here, but there's there's definitely margins, right? This, the content uh, of this particular theme is styled to be sort of, uh, I guess, minimalistic or single column so that, you know, you're focused on the content. It looks good on mobile, that kind of thing. But again, that home page and maybe even that portfolio page is full width. What if you want to build a full width page edge to edge? So let's just go into the page builder real quick. Beaver Builder is already installed. Uh, this will work at the free version, uh, doesn't matter. But the example that I'm gonna show you uh, with layouts in Beaver Builder only comes in the pro version uh, of Beaver Builder, which you can get for, let me just pull it up real quick. It is, I think, $99. Come on, internet, yep, 99 bucks. And now you can install it on unlimited sites um, or whatever. So you can see the, dot, the blue dotted lines and you can see as I hover in this row that I only have this confined space to work with because that's what this particular Genesis theme is giving to me. So if I wanted to uh, load in a template, I'm sorry, I said layouts before, that's what Divi calls it. Um, if I wanted to load in, or they call it layout template too, replace the existing layout, hit okay. <clears throat> and this will load in this sort of pre-designed landing page-ish, agency-ish uh, template. But you can see that that is you know, stuck in the middle of this content. That doesn't really do it any justice. It's okay, uh, but it's not gonna win you any awards. <laughs> That's for sure. So let's go ahead and just publish changes real quick. And we'll save that so that we can, uh, so that we can show the example here of what we're gonna do next. Let's go to edit page. And what we're using now is this plugin I mentioned at the top of the show is Genesis Dam Buster. Uh, beavers, dams, I get it, I guess. Um, I'm not really sold on either name, but uh, it works. So let's go to edit page and down the bottom when you have this plugin installed, there's a few things I need. I wanna point out. By default, it's not enabled, right? So um, that's a little tricky to sort of, you know, just you just think that it's just gonna work when you go into Beaver Builder, it's not. What you need to do is go on a, to a page and enable that uh, and you can do that right here. So once we enable the tweaks, uh, as they call it, um, and all of the tweaks are uh, outlined through all of these options here. So for example, full width page, 
you know, most of you are probably going to use this so you can get these edge to edge full width layouts uh, that Beaver Builder provides. So obviously you want to make sure that was checked off. Um, the, other, the other thing that they do remove by default are the, the headers and the primary nav. Uh, threw me for a loop in the beginning when I first started playing with it because I was just like, let's go and let's build these full, uh, full width layouts. So if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to update that and then we will preview this page again. So you can see here, I, even though I am logged in, there is no uh, nav loaded up top, which is great for like specific landing pages that you want with your site. Uh, and, and now you can see the example here, it's full width. Uh, because I enabled the damn buster uh, option or tweak, uh, now my beautiful layout that I selected is loading you know, 100% full width to the screen, no more just constrained into the content. And then when I go into the page builder, uh, you'll see that even when I want to go and add another, um, let's say row, for instance, it will, whoops, you know, you'll see, see the full width column now up top. So now you can stack uh, the rows and everything's edge to edge full width. It's, it's uh, a nice little plugin. It really plays well with Beaver Builder. Again, works really well if you have um, one of the pro versions of Beaver Builder. And I am going to discard changes and exit. But now how do we get that plugin, or excuse me, that navigation and the header to come back? Well, let's edit the page. Go back down to the header options and uncheck these uh, to remove the header. We don't want to remove the header and we don't want to remove the primary navigation, let's say. Hit update. And then we will preview that page one more time. And now our Genesis header is back, right? And we have this nice new uh, layout loaded by Beaver Builder, customized by Beaver Builder. And um, if we go to a sample page, our regular pages still look the way the theme wants it to look. Right? So again, if you want to inject these uh, specifically targeted landing pages or product pages throughout your site in a Genesis theme, you take your Beaver Builder uh, plugin, either the free or the pro uh, or the standard, and you load that with Genesis Dam Buster, uh, WordPress.org plugins, Genesis Dam Buster, and you install both of those, and then you can activate that stuff uh, and to make that full width uh, site come to life, right, <laughs> with Beaver Builder. And uh, again, that's a pretty good amount uh, of customization options. I mean. You will never have to touch a line of code <laughs> uh, short of having to write custom functions or, uh, I don't know, maybe some other plugin just isn't compatible with finding the styles uh, within Design Palette Pro or Site Origin CSS. Uh, you'll probably never have to write a line of code to customize a StudioPress site. Now, again, one more time, uh, Beaver Builder will work on any Genesis theme. Dam Buster might not and Design Palette Pro might not. Um, and those two are really going to unlock the ease of use of customizing uh, a Genesis uh, a Genesis theme. Uh, let's take one more time at installed plugins, just so you can get a recap of that. We only have four active plugins, right? And these four do a good job. And they're, you know, short of, I really don't know the people behind Genesis Dam Buster. Uh, I know the team behind Beaver Builder, behind Genesis Design Palette Pro and Site Origin. Those are three powerhouses, uh, you know, in terms of uh, the plugin world and knowing that these products will be supported. Uh, but again, Genesis Dam Buster is free, open source. If, you know, something happens, um, surely somebody would fork that and continue on because it's already got 5,000 active installs. So a pretty uh, healthy install in active user base. Uh, that's customizing all your Studio Press themes. It's pretty awesome stuff. If you want more of these tutorials, go ahead and hit like, share it with friends and family. I really hope this helped uh, you with your Studio Press customization needs. Uh, I'll be continuing continuing my page building journey with Divi and Beaver Builder as I move along here, and of course, all the other wonderful tutorials um, that I think will help you out. Please hit subscribe. It really helps us get found uh, in this busy YouTube world. Thanks, everybody.